<clears throat> Shalom, Shalom, while Rumi are back with another lesson, Lord willing to be edifying. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to our Savior, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Wahiru Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who taught me this truth. Shalom to you, Akim and Akwa, that believe and have faith in Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, in these last days. I just got a couple of um, videos, article, that is going into the times we're living in, man. Biblical prophecies, man, it's going to be fulfilled. This right here is um, in Idaho. It says, U.S. state of Idaho is bringing back firing squads for death row inmates. See, these things that the Lord said was going to come to pass in these last days, not necessarily <clears throat> firing squads, but it's all part of biblical prophecy, man. They're also going to the, into the guillotine as well, man. It's, it's biblical prophecy. So these things are, are coming back, and they're going to use them to kill majority of you jakes man you black hispanic and native americans man which you will deem yourself to be a christian you're still going to suffer the same fate because they have an agenda and they want to downsize the population man everybody know this this is the first uh video i want to play this is dr seven i want to share with you here information and footage showing this 900 percent increase of chinese nationals into the United States illegally. Back out here in the field working on a story on the Chinese nationals that are being apprehended in this sector. Uh, actually, right behind us, we have five Chinese nationals, all men, 91% of the Chinese nationals being apprehended in this sector, are uh, single adults. So uh, we're working on a story, and it's pretty alarming. We've been covering the border the last couple of years, but it's really alarming to see the amount of Chinese nationals that we're seeing here uh, in this sector. As you can see here in this footage, by the bus loads, they're coming in. These are being released to an NGO in Brownsville, Texas. They say they're being released with notices to appear in court because there's so many of them crossing. And there's no space to keep them in the town. This is an invasion, ladies and gentlemen. 900% increase. They're dumping them all over the place. Men of fighting age. I hope you're all ready, because this is what's going down. As you see, man, it's fair use act, man. Um, fair use, fair use. I'm not profiting it off this uh, video. It's by Dabu7. But basically, yeah, you see that these, uh, they're strategically bringing those uh, Chinese nationals into America, man. They're going to use them as um, to uh, basically stir, uh, I believe, I can't say for a fact, I believe they're going to use it to stir up uh, the Civil War. Also going to be using them as uh, those UN troops, man, them Gurkha troops, man. So they're kind of bringing them in uh, under the, um, under the, I would say, um, under the cover of a Chinese national trying to get into America, man. But those are going to be the ones that's going to be running your, your alphabet um, camps, man. They're going to be running those alphabet camps, and also they're going to use them to to stir up um, the population, man. Get everybody to get, you know, get in an uproar, man, to fight. So the next video, it says, uh, uh, Yi, uh, Xi Jinping, uh, Yi, uh, tells Putin change is coming and op opulence threat to the West. It says, now there are, now there are changes that, are, that haven't happened in a hundred years. And let me make sure I pronounce that word correctly. Opulence. I'm going get the definition as well. Ominous. Ominous locking. See, it said an ominous threat. It says, Ye tells Putin change is coming and an ominous threat to the West. And that's uh, given the given the impression that something bad or unpleasant is going to happen, threatening in and that's and how you sharpen your skills on words you don't know. She just look them up, man. Inauspicious. In in inauspicious. In our snitches, uh, not conductive 
to success I'm promising. So he gave him an ominous, ominous um, statement. It ain't happened in over 100 years, man. And they talking about, you know, basically, we already know. Let's get the video. <laughs> See, the wheels are turning, man. And this also happened while, um, um, I, don't know, I can't believe, Xi Jinping or whatever was over the Chinese president. It says, President Biden orders two U.S. US bomber aircraft towards Russia as Chinese president visits, warning Chinese of consequences. Those two aircraft were American B-52-8 strategic bombers. It says that those aircraft were then diverted away from the Russian border and the Russian aircraft was able to return to... So, yeah, they, they, they um, they're, you know, basically getting each other riled up, man, because it's going to be a day when the Yahweh Bashim al is going to let them go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, man. And they know it's coming. Both all the nations know that the war is coming, man. World War Three, the Battle of Armageddon, and also I didn't pull it up, but uh, Russia, um, China just jumped on board to give uh, Russia those weapons that they was uh, America kept saying that they was going to give them. They have jumped on board to give them those weapons now. Now the the stage is set, man, for uh, Russia to get get those weapons from China and China to basically come into. The war in um, yellow and blue country, man. This is uh, Psalms 99. I'm going to start at verse 1. Yahweh by Shem Yahushua reigneth. Let the people tremble. He sitteth between the cherubs. Let the earth be moved. Yahweh by Shem Yahushua is great in Zion. And he is high above all the people. Let them praise thy great and terrible name. For it is holy. See, that's a cut on IUIC, man. Lord said, let them praise thy great and terrible name, for it is holy, man. So we got to know that name. But um, verse 4 says, the king's strength also loveth judgment. Thou doest establish iniquity, uh, quality, equality, equality, it's like it. equality, thou executest judgment and righteousness in Jacob. Five, exalt ye, Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, our power, and worship at his footstool, for he is holy. So the Lord is holy, man. And we need to worship Yahweh by Shem Yahushua with all our heart and soul, man, because all hell is about to break loose in Babylon the Great, man. The Lord has this place pegged for a great destruction. This is Psalms 149, and I'm going to start at verse 1. Psalm of Quran. It says, Hear this, all ye people. Give it all ye inhabitants of the world, both high and low, rich and poor together, man. So the Lord is rousing the people up, man. He's finna, man, he's finna bring a great destruction, man. Four, uh, three, it says, my mouth shall speak of wisdom and the meditation of my heart shall be of understanding. So we must understand what's finna happen, man, and get prepared through the spirit and power we have by Shem Yahusha to be able to, um, come, uh, be able to, Make it through the time of Jacob's trouble, man, which the Lord is going to be the God of the hopeful elect. But you have to be, you know, put the spirit, you know what I'm saying? The spirit got to be on you because you don't know if you're a part of the hopeful elect. So that's why we have to endure and continue to uh, seek your how by Shimmy how shot daily through these scriptures, man. Verse four, he says, I will incline my heart to a parable. I will open up my dark sayings upon the harp. It says, wherefore should I fear in the days of evil? It says, when the iniquity of my heels shall come past me about, 
He says, they that trust in wealth and boast themselves in the multitude of, of their riches, none of them can by any means redeem his brother, nor give power a ransom for him. See, the Lord is telling you, man, nothing, you're going to have to be on his side or left out, man, because it don't make no difference if you got money. The Lord don't care about your money. You either with, you either with the Lord or you against the Lord, man. Because when the Lord starts to bring these judgments, man, it ain't going to matter if you got $1,000 or $100 million, man, or the zero, man. The Lord is going to bring judgment, man, and he's not going to hold a ransom. You're not going to be able to pay the Lord a ransom for um, to get out of this judgment, man. So there's no way you're going to be able to get out of it unless you how about Shimei al is with you, man. He's on your side. And you have to make steps to let the, you know, let the, know, <laughs> let the Lord know that you are... Uh, Truly and sincerely is seeking him, man. Because you don't know. We 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 pray that we are part of the hopeful elect, but we can't say for sure the Lord is with us. I mean, Slocky, I mean we know the Lord is with us, but we can't say the Lord is truly in our favor unless He chooses us, man. And we don't we ain't gonna know that until that time comes. So we want to do everything we possibly can and make sure the Lord is on our side. This is us um Ecclesiasticus. So rock, I'm going to start at um, 40, and I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, Great travail is created for every man, and a, and, and yoke, a, he, a, and a heavy yoke is upon the sons of Adam. From day that they go out of their mother's womb till the day that they return to their mother of all things. And that's basically from the time you come out of the... At, um, out of the mother's womb until you, you go back into the grave, man. It's we got trouble, man. All hell, you know what I'm saying? Basically for the children of Israel. We always uh, have trouble, man, in this life. He says, their imaginations of things to come and the day of death trouble their thoughts and cause fear of heart. And that's all we do, man. You know what I'm saying? Day you can go outside and get put to death by a cop or anything, man. Get a car wreck or should have a heart attack, anything, man. Our days are trouble, man. And that's why the Lord wants us to, you know, depend on him, man. Lean on him for all our needs, man. Because we truly are going to need him in the time that we're coming into, man. Verse 3, it says, From, from him that sitteth on, the, a on, the, on a throne of glory unto him that is humble in the, in the, in the earth and ashes. From him that weareth purple and a crown unto him that is clothed with a linen frock. It says, wrath and envy, trouble and unquietness, fear of death and anger and strife. All these things, we, when we, the time the children of Israel come out the womb, we all have the, all these things in front of us, man. No matter if you're rich, poor, he just gave you all. If you're a king, if you're, you're, you're homeless, we have all these things in front of us, man, no matter what. It says, and in the time of rest upon his bed, his night's sleep do, do change his knowledge. So the Lord chooses you to come into this truth or if you, you're shut out, man. So, you know, like I said, man, if you don't know if you're the truth, I mean, if you don't know that you're, you know, the how about Shemiah Shah is with you, you know, sometimes the spirit, you know, you feel like the spirit ain't with you, man. You know what I'm saying? You're like, man, let me get in the scriptures, man. I don't, you know, I don't feel that presence of your how about Shemiah Shah with me. You know what I'm saying? You, you continue to, you want to get in the scriptures, man, to feel that presence of your how about Shemiah Shah. And that's why, you know what I'm saying? I'm speaking about it. So you got to kind of continue to seek your how about Shimei Al Shah to let the Lord know that you know what I'm saying you want to be here. you want His protection, man. You want Him to uh, be with you because we go through a we go through a lot of hell in our life, but the time we're going to come into is the time of Jacob's trouble. So it's basically like a separation from the time we enter into the world and into this time now that we're going to see all hell break loose, and that's soon. It says wrath and envy, trouble. And in, in unquietness, fear of death, anger, and strife, and in the time of rest, his bed is is his upon his bed, his night's sleep do will change his knowledge. So the Lord change your knowledge if you're gonna be in the truth, or you're gonna be a two third. He says a little or not a nothing is the rest, and afterward he is in his sleep, as in a day that. In a day of keeping watch, trouble in the vision of his heart, as if he were escaped out of a battle. Like I said, the Lord is going to guide us, man. 
So the Lord going to put you in that, in that fire, man. When all hell breaking loose, man, you're going to suffer death, famine, your kids, your old, your old lady, your wife, going to suffer wrath, man, because of your mistakes, man. You know what I'm saying? And everybody's judgment is not going to be the same. I don't want everybody to think, well, damn, he's talking about your wife going because of you. No, it ain't going to be because of you. But if you're, you don't teach them in the right way, and you know what I'm saying, and um, guide them in the right way, the Lord might, might have mercy on, on them just as well as he have uh, He had mercy on Noah and his, uh, his family. So we want the Lord to have mercy on us and our family just as well as he did with Noah. But like I said, this is all by faith. You know what I'm saying? We're going to teach our children to have faith. We're going to teach our wife to have faith. And you how about Shimei Al Shai. And that's the reason why I say you might cause your family because they're looking up to you. You know what I'm saying? You, you're the reason why your wife know the scriptures and uh, rebelled, rebelled against the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? Some cases is different. Not saying all women going to listen to their man. But you know what I'm saying? If the one have an inkling, you should be able to if have an inkling of uh, seeking your how about Shimei Al Shai. You should at least sit her down and teach her the word. You know what I'm saying? And just as well as your children. Verse 6, it says, a little or nothing is his rest. And afterward, he is in his sleep, as in a day of keeping watch. Trouble in the vision of his heart, as if he were escaped out of a battle. It says, when all is safe, he awaketh and marvel that the fear is was nothing. And that's what we, Lord willing, we come into, man. We're going to see all hell break loose, man. And we're going to basically go through it. And we're going we're gonna to basically wake up to it and be like, man, that was nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm speaking of the hopeful elect. Because a lot of us, there's, uh, that's what the scripture saying, uh, I think it's Matthew 16, about some standing here shall not see death. That's basically what he's going into, man. He says, when all is safe, he awaketh and marveleth that the fear was nothing. It says, such things happen unto all flesh, both man and beast. And that is seven folds more upon a sinner. So it's going to be worse than a, on a sinner than a hopeful elect. It says such things happen. Let's lock it. Verse 9, it says, Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and scourge. These things are created for the wicked and for, and for their sakes came the flood. See that? So all these things are created for the wicked, man. The hopeful elect, like he said, wake up and marvel that he was safe, man. Verse 7, it says, when all is safe, he awaketh and marvel that the fear was nothing. That's the hopeful elect, man. Being protected and guided. But everything, everybody else that, that rejected this word, rejected Yahweh by Shimei al -Shah, death and bloodshed, strife and the sword, calamity, famine, tribulation and scourge. These things are created for the wicked. And for their sakes came the flood. So all the wicked, for the wicked came, uh, for the wicked sake, the flood came, man. So we want to be counted worthy to you. How about Shimei Shah to be exempt from this 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 uh, this uh this time of Jacob's trouble we're coming into, man? When all hell's breaking loose, man. And that exemption is um what it uh, Ezekiel nine. So Lord willing, we escape the judgments of you. How about Shimei Shah, the hopeful elect? Because of, um, the two thirds are going to get punished. This is Second Edris uh, fifteen, and I'm going to start at verse, drop down to verse seventeen, and it says, "A man shall desire to go into a, a city, and shall not be able, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid, because you rejected Yahweh by Shem Yahweh. He's going to bring these calamities, man, these plagues upon you, man." He says, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword, with the, you know, going through your house with guns, and spoil their goods, robbing you. He says, because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. See, it's going to be a lack of bread here in America, Babylon the great man. You're going to lack all these things, and the Lord is going to bring judgment on you because you, re you rejected him. And that's why we seek you out by Shimei Al Shai daily, man. Let me drop down to verse 40, uh, 47. It says, Woe be unto thee, ye, uh, thou wretch, wretched, wretch, because thou hast made thyself like unto her, and hast decked thy daughters 
in whoredom and that's part of other other um philosophies other doctrines going to church christianity buddha and being a muslim it says that they might please and glory in thy lovers which have always desired to commit whoredom with thee and it's talking about esau man his um his um christianity he gives you you know what i'm saying being in, in buddha and all these other philosophies and different doctrines that Yahweh about Shem Yahushua never gave us. He says, Thou hast followed her that is hated in all her works and inventions. See, you follow Esau, man. He is hated. He followed all his inventions. There, uh, therefore, said Yahweh about Shem Yahushua, I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence, to waste thy house with the destruction and death, man. So the Lord is going to bring this death and destruction on you because you rejected everything that he presented to you that was holy and it was unto him. And being first and foremost, being the men of the Lord that present this truth to you in the correct doctrine, in the name and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, not no uh, uh, Lord Christ Jesus blessing all that bullshit, man. That is not, that's nothing, man. The Lord name is to be, to be um, feared. Uh, drop down to verse 55, it says, the reward of the, thy whoredom shall be in thy bosom. See? It says, therefore shalt thou receive recompense. So the Lord will receive, he's going to pay you back for not following him and not following his men that presented the truth to you. He says, like as thou hast done to my chosen, see, his men, Sefi how about Shem Yahushai, even so shall power do unto thee and shall deliver thee into mischief. See, the Lord is going to deliver you into this, this hell. Jacob's trouble, man. When all hell breaking loose, man. No food, no uh, no water to drink, man. Famine is running rampant, man. You have to be eating your family and your kids and shit, man. These things the Lord is going to bring on you. All that you feared, man. Verse 57, it says, Thy children shall die of hunger. See that? And thou shalt fall through the sword. Thy city shall be broken down. And all thy and all thine shall perish with the sword of the field. See? The Lord is gonna bring great destruction on the cities, man. He says, verse 58, it says, They that be in the mountains shall die of hunger. So you ain't gonna be able to go out in the middle of, of, of the of wilderness. Only thing you're gonna have is your how about Shimmy Al Shah. That's the only thing you're gonna have in this time that's coming, man. And I pray that I, I, I prophesied that a, a more than I could possibly do, man, because the Lord, the faith the Lord is going to bless us with, man, we're going to have to continue to build on that faith. And we have a, our faith now, but we got to continue to build on it. That. that means pray. Pray the Lord give you more faith, man. You know what I'm saying? Lean on the Lord, man. Think about the Lord, man. Think about the things he suffered for us, man. Verse 58 again, it says, They that be in the mountain shall die of hunger. And 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 eat their own flesh. See that? You're gonna be eating cannibalism, man. You're gonna be eating your own kids, your family, man. When somebody die, he says, and drink their own blood. So you're gonna be drinking the blood of your family members, man. You think you're gonna escape? Well, I got guns and weapons, man. I can go out in the wilderness and, and I'll be protected. This ain't the type of of a uh, mindset you need to be in, man. You need to be in the mindset of I need to repent, man. Turn to Yahweh by Shem Yahushua and Lord willing, he have mercy on me and, and see that my good works, that I, I'm, I'm worthy to be uh, able to escape these judgments, man. It says, um, for the very hunger of bread and thirst of water, man. So they're going to eat your family members, man. You're going to eat your kids, your wife, your mother, your your, your daddy, and you're going to drink their blood, man. Because it's the judgment of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua. And if you ain't, if you don't want to repent, you're gonna suffer that, man, firsthand. This is Proverbs one, and I'm just drop down to verse twenty-two. It says, "How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity and scorner and and the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge." See, you're a fool if you hate this knowledge. This wisdom is understanding of Yahweh Shem Yahushua. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. See that? If you repent and come back to Yahweh Shem Yahushua, he's going to pour out his spirit unto you and make known his words unto you. And that's that's what I, I, I pray that I've done. You know what I'm saying? That I, I repent and the spirit came to me and the words 
of this Bible may I may under I was made understood to me. You know what I'm saying? Verse 24 it says, Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. See the Lord telling you, he, he, he had sent the man of the Lord out to you, and you didn't listen, man. You didn't you came up to the camp and walked away, not knowing that this was the interest of the kingdom of heaven, man. The kingdom of um our Lord and Savior how about Shimia Shah. The door to salvation. He says, but ye have set at not all my counsel. He's talking about the, the uh, men of the Lord, man. He's preaching his word. You, you, you put it away. It says, and would not, uh, and, wanted, and would none of my reproof. So you didn't want to listen to the Lord. So listen to what the Lord is saying. I will also, I will, um, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. See that? The Lord is going to laugh at your calamity and is going to mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come up upon you. See, the Lord going to laugh at you, man, when all these things come to pass, man. And he's going to use his man to laugh at you because we warned you. We've told you several times, man, over and over and over. And I'm pretty sure now everybody has heard this word. It says, when, um, it says, when your fear... It says, when your fear cometh as a desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come up upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. See, you can call upon on the Lord when all hell breaking loose. He said, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. And this is the time to find the Lord, man. This is truly the time to find your how about Shem Shah because we see the destruction is coming, but it hasn't came yet, man. It's coming. We have to. We at the gate. You know what I'm saying. Looking at the destruction coming, and the Lord is going to open those gates, man, and let the, the the floodgate of hell come loose, man. And that's the reason why we, you know, what I'm saying, warning you daily. And like I said, through the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, man, to the Akim that's on down, man, they they send up blessings every day, man, trying to warn our people for what's coming, man, and to be prepared through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Shah. Verse 28, it says, Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but shall not find me. He says, For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yahweh by Shem Shah, they would want none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. So you didn't want to listen to us when we told you that don't, don't be in the L, uh, don't be in the alphabet community. Stop uh, smoking weed. You know what I'm saying? Um, stop selling drugs. Stop smoking, period. You know what I'm saying? Come come into this truth, man. Learn this word, man. Study. Get to know you how about Shem Yahusha. We've told you all these things, man. But you know, you wanted none of his counsel, which is the man of the Lord. And you wanted you despise his reproof, us telling you what to do, what's right. Stop eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster. He says, therefore, Shall they eat the fruit of their own way? So, so the Lord said, you're going to eat the fruit of your own way because you didn't repent. And be filled with their own devices. So you're going to be filled with the judgment of your own device, man. Basically letting you pick out your own judgment. For the, uh, for the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearkeneth Unto me shall dwell safely. See, if you listen to the Lord, you're going to dwell safely, man, with all hell breaking loose, man. And shall be quiet from the fear of evil. So we're going to be protected in that day, man, because we repented and came back to you, how about Shimmy al Shah? And he was our guide, man. You got to have angels take charge of you and guide you in the way of safety. This is Jeremiah 4. And I'm going to start at verse 20. It says, Destruction upon destruction. Is cried, for the whole land is spoiled. Suddenly are my tents spoiled and my curtains in a moment. See, the Lord is going to bring destruction when I can set up gates, the floodgates going to open, man. And all hell is going to break loose, man. And you're not going to be able to repent and come back to him when that time comes, man. This is the time to repent. Verse 21, it says, How long shall I see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? For my people is foolish; they have not known me. They are Scottish. They are Scottish pe uh, children, and they have none understanding. 
they are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have not, they have no knowledge. See, they have no knowledge of Yahweh Shem Yahshua. They have not known the Lord. Calling on Jesus is not the Lord's name, man. So he's not going to hear you. You, 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 you. You're wise in your own thinking. That's what he's saying, man. He's telling you to wake up, man. We're not doing it. We're just not calling on, on, on your howl about Shem Yahshua for nothing, man. It's a whole point of that, man. The Lord ain't just wake us up to, to um, curse out the white man. He woke us up to repent and come back to him, man, and prophesy against these nations that held us in captivity, man. 23 says, I beheld the earth, and lo, it was without form and void, and the heavens, and they had no light. And that's our people, man. Two-thirds of our people are finna be judged. I beheld the earth, and lo, it was without form and void, and the heavens, and they had no light. And I beheld the mountains, and lo, they trembled, and all the hills moved lightly. And I beheld, and lo, there was no man, and all the birds of the heavens were, fled, were fled. And I beheld, and lo, the fruitful place as a, as a wilderness, and all the cities thereof were broken down at the presence of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. And by his fierce anger, man. So the Lord is telling you, man, he's coming. He's going to bring judgment. If you ain't repentant, he's going to bring the judgment on you. And it's, the, and it's the last time you're going to be able to repent and come back to him, man. We don't know when at the, the last time you're going to be able to do it. But it's, it's, it's a damn good day to do it, man. Verse 27, it says, For thus say Yahweh about Shem Yahushai, said, The whole land shall be desolate. Yet will I not make a full end, for this shall the earth mourn and the heavens above be black, because I have spoken it, I have per pursued it, purposed this like it, and will not repent, neither will I turn back from it. So the Lord is going to bring the judgment. He's not going to repent from it. He's not going to turn back from it, man. He's going to bring great destruction, plagues, tribulation, famine. Water famine, food famine, all this is coming, man. And if you don't believe it, you're going to see it for yourself, man. You're going to see it for yourself, man. You're going to see it firsthand. This is Second Andrew 16. I'm drop down to verse 70. It says, for, for there shall be in every place and in every city a great insurrection upon those that fear Yahweh by Shem Yahushah. They shall be like madmen, sparing none. And that's talking about you Israelites. There's going to be a great insurrection in the cities on you, the children of Israel, man. Because Esau wants to eliminate us. He says, they shall be like madmen. Esau eat them. Sparing none. So they're going to put all the Israelites. If you believe in Yahweh Shai, if you believe in Jesus, Buddha, or Islam, you're going to be put to death, man. And this is all the hand, at the hands of Yahweh Shai. But still spoiling and destroying those that fear Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. He says, For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. See? Then shall they know who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. See? All hell gonna be breaking loose in the children within the children of Israel. But you're going to see who the Lord chose, man, who the, who the Lord's protected and who the Lord is with. Because we know that two thirds of our people are going to be judged, man, because they did, they, they turned their back on you. How about you, Shah? But we know the hopeful elect is going to, to make it through these things, man. You know, some, some, of our, some of the hopeful elect will be martyrs for this truth, but majority of our people are going to make it. This is, um, uh, Sirach, uh, the Ecclesiastes of Sirach 2, and I'm going to just start at verse 6. It says, Believe in me, it's like it, believe in him, and he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. And it's talking about us trusting in you. How about Shem Yahweh Shah? I'm supposed to start at verse 5, it's like it. He says, He's going to be like verse 16, he says, He's going to be like gold tried in the fire. This is, he said, For gold is tried in the fire. And acceptable men in the in the furnace of adversity. So we're gonna be tried, as he said in um second Ezra, we're gonna be tried like gold in the fire. Same thing he's saying right here, we're gonna be tried like gold in the fire. 
and a furnace of adversity. So we're gonna have to go through these things, man. But the because but we're gonna have to fear Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. That's why it says, believe in him, and he will help thee order thy way aright and trust in him. Ye that fear Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, wait for his mercy. See that? We're gonna go through a lot of we're gonna go through all hell when all hell breaking loose, but we're gonna be protected, man. We're gonna be tried. It's gonna be a test for us. He says, and go not aside. Least ye fall. So don't 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 veer away from this truth, man. Or you're gonna fall. He says, verse 80 says, Yea, that fear you how by Shem Yahushua, believe him, and your and your reward shall not fail. See that? Believe in Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, and your reward won't fail. We're gonna get a reward for believing in this truth, man. We're gonna get the kingdom of heaven, and also the, the 144,000 and a man of the Lord. Are going to um, I'm gonna say the 144,000 are going to be crowned, but the men of the Lord is going to be able the, the men that one third of our people are going to be able to escape judgment, man. That's a reward in itself, man. It'll be found written in the book of life. Verse 9 it says, Ye that fear you how about Shem Yahushai, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. And that's what we're hoping for the hope for the elect. He says, Look at the generations of old and see that ever any. Trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahushai and was confounded. See, nobody nobody failed to believe in Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. Nobody was ju a judge in that way, man. It says, you know, uh, he had martyrs for the truth. Don't get me wrong. We didn't have martyrs for the truth. But the Lord, they never was confounded. They, what they believed and had faith in was faithful and true. That's what I meant to say, Salaki. Or did any abideth in his fear and was forsaken? See, no one is forgotten. It says, or whom did he ever despise that call upon him? See, he's not going to despise you if you call upon him, man. If you repent and, and sincerely believe in how about Shem Yahushua, call upon his name, man. Believe in him, man. Teach your children, your wife, your family. And if you're, you got a, um, if you're a, a, um, a Akwa, Akwa, the woman that believe in his truth and your husband is unbelieving, teach him the name. Verse 11, it says, for Yahweh Bashem Yahushua is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering, very pitiful. It says, and uh, forgiving, give, forgiving, forgiveth sin, forgiveth sins, and saveth in the time of affliction. See, the Lord gonna save us in a time of affliction. It says, for Yahweh Bashem Yahushua is full of compassion and mercy, and long suffering, and very pitiful, and forgiveth. Sins and save it in a time of affliction. Woe be to you, fearful hearts and faint hands. So if you 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 are if you're not believing your mind, well, the Lord might not come, or the Lord ain't gonna come when we need him. Or you know what I'm saying? Or faint hands don't believe in this truth. Turn your back from the plow. And the sinners that go up two ways. So if you you in the truth, you kind of want to be in the truth and don't want to be in the truth. He said, woe unto the destruction unto you, man. It says, woe unto him that is faint hearted. For he believeth not. See, you can't be wavering, man. Believe in his truth unto death. Believe in Yahweh by Shem Yahushua unto death, man. It says, therefore shall he not be defended. So if you faint hearted and you don't believe in his truth, you're not going to be defended, man. If I got a bullet, a gun to your head, man, and feel like the bullet finna come out, man. Man, pray to Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, man. It says, woe unto you that have lost patience. And what will ye do when the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, shall visit you? See that? Don't lose patience in this truth, man. The Lord is coming, man. He's definitely on his way, man. We just got to endure these last couple of seconds in his kingdom, in his kingdom, man. It says, they that fear Yahweh by Shem Yahushua will not disobey his word. See that? If you believe in Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, you're not going to disobey the word, man. You're going to believe wholeheartedly. And they that loveth him will keep his ways. That's plain. They that fear Yahweh by Shem Yahushua will seek that which is well pleasing unto him. And they that loveth him shall be filled with the law. It says, They that fear Yahweh by Shem Yahushua will prepare their heart and humble their souls in his sight. And that's what we've done, done man. We've humbled ourselves and followed the law, such commandments to the best of our ability, man. It says, saying, we will feel, so like a, we will fall into the hands of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua and not into the hands of man. That's what the whole point of this lesson is for. We want to fall into the hands of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua and not man. So 
The Esau is going to bring all, man. All hell is going to break loose, man. Esau is going to bring it all. The end of 18, it says, for as his majesty is, so is his mercy. See, we want the Lord to have mercy on us, man. And that's all we got to do, man. Lean on your how about shimmy all shot, man. The Lord ain't asking for much. Repent, come back to him, and lean on him in all your in all your ways, man. Verse 1, uh, this is a Sirach, uh, so, um, Ecclesiastical Sirach 1, 33 and 1. It says, there, uh, there shall no evil happen unto him that fear of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Plain. But in temptation, even again, he will deliver him. See, the Lord is going to deliver us, man. And we just asking you to repent, you know what I'm saying, before the time is, 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 is ends, man. The mercy gate is for the close, man, and the flood gates of destruction has been open. This is Sirach um, 34, Ecclesiastes Sirach 34, and I'm going to drop down to verse 12. It says, I was oftentimes in danger of death, yet was delivered because these thing, of these things. The spirit of those that fear of you, how about Shemi Shah shall live. And I'm pretty sure most of all of us, man, them, them like them flashing for the eyes, man. But now the death is going to be at their doorstep, man. Marie 12 again, it says, I was oftentimes in danger of death, yet I was delivered because of these things. The spirit of those that fear you how about Shemiah Shah shall live. That's beautiful, man. That's plain. For their hope is in him that saveth them. See that? Our hope is in Yahweh by Shem Shai, man. It's going to save us, man. Whose fear of Yahweh by Shem Shai shall not fear. Fear. It's like it. Whoso fear of Yahweh by Shem Shai shall not fear nor be afraid. So when all hell breaking loose, man, the men of the Lord, man, that bleed and have faith in Yahweh by Shem Shai, we're not going to be afraid, man. These scriptures are faithful and true. For he is his hope. The Lord is our hope, man. We have nothing to fear, man. Blessed is the soul of him that fear if you how about Shem Yahweh Shai. So you blessed if you believe in the Lord, man. And I, and I see IUIC, man. They, they getting away from the name, man. You, they, well, I ain't going to say they getting away. They got away from the name, man. Man, that's our, that's our strong tower. The end of uh, 15, it says, To whom doeth he look, and who is his strength? For the eyes of you how about Shem Yahweh Shai are upon them that loveth him. See, the Lord is looking at you, man. If you repent and come back to him and you love the Lord sincerely, man, the Lord, is, his eyes are on you. He's going to guide you. His angels are going to protect you. For the eyes of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh are upon them that loveth him. He is their mighty protection and strong stay, a defense from the heat and a cover from the sun at noon. That's talking about the destruction, man, the sun at noon. Because it said he's going to waste it that noonday. Going, I think it's in Isaiah. It says, a, pres a, a pres preservation. A preservation. Damn, I know that's what it is. Let me get it to me just in case somebody didn't know. Preservation, if I ain't pronouncing it correctly. Get it, man. Just to be on it. It's how you train your mind, man. You train your mind. If you ain't clear on it, I know it's what it is, but. Preservation. I was right. The action of preserving something. See that the Lord is going to preserve. Let me get back to it, man. Preservation. I was right, but just be on the safe side. Shit, I mean, ain't nobody perfect. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I ain't, I ain't the I ain't the best reader. I don't know all the best words, but this is through the Spirit, man. It's all about faith, man. You know what I'm saying? Teaching these lessons. It says, let me read verse 16 again. It says, because we know what preservation means, to protect, to save. It says, for the eyes of Yahweh by Shem Yahshua are upon them that loveth him. 
He is their mighty protection and strong stay, a defense from heat and a cover from the sun at noon, a preservation from stumbling and a help from failing, from falling. See, that's the Lord going to protect us from falling, man, from falling out this truth, man. Be with us. Verse 17, it says, he, he riseth up the soul and lighteth his, the eyes. He giveth health, life, and blessings, man. That's your how about Shimei Oshai, man. That's our power, man. And we have to lean on him until the end. I got one more scripture, and I'm going to end it. This is Job 5, real quick. In 19, he says, He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. See, I, 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 I'm going to end it right there, man. No evil shall touch thee. It says, In famine, he shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shall thou be afraid from destruction that when, when it cometh at destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou be afraid at the beasts of the earth, for thou shalt be in league, for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. It says, and thou shalt know that the tabernacle shall be in peace, and thou shalt visit thy inhabitation and shall not sin. See, we, we, we're going to be perfect, man, in the kingdom of heaven, but we're going to be protected and guided when the time of Jacob's trouble, man, when all hell breaking loose, man. My Lord willing was edifying. I'm going to end it there. Shalom. Shalom.